Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of slope in similar right triangles. This is standard A.4A in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 5 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. Okay, so we've got two different triangles here that are similar, RVT and RBS. So let's see what we're talking about here. Uh, using just the letters that they give you, RVT is this smaller one right here. Okay. And then we'll do RBS, that's that bigger one, we'll make that green. All right. So which proportion best represents the slope of the line containing R, S, and T? So we're looking for this line right here. It's this diagonal line right there. And we're looking for the slope of, and they, they give you the RVT and the RBS, okay? So let's figure out what do we know about slope. Let's check our reference materials. Hopefully we see, we remember that it's going to be up here. Uh, at the top in linear equations, it's that third section, slope of line, m equals change in y over change in x. So let's do that. Let's just look at the change in y over the change in x. Let's start with RVT. So RVT is the small one, okay? So that's the one that we did in red, so we'll do that in red. So m equals change in y over change in x. Okay, so we need to plot some of these points. So R looks like it's going to be negative 11 as the, as the X and 6 as the Y. And then T looks like it's going to be negative 9 as the X and then 2. All right, now it doesn't really matter which one you do as X1 or Y1. It doesn't really matter, so I'll make that X1 and I'll make that X2. Make that y1, y2. You just have to match them up. All right, so now we just plug it in. And we don't even need to solve it. We just need to, to plug it in, right? So we could do x2 is going to be, uh, let's see, let's start with my y2. My y2 is going to be 2 minus my y1 is 6 over, and then I've got negative 9 minus, and then that negative 11. Okay, so that could that could equal the slope of that. Now, if that's not, if they flipped it, right, we might need to simplify it, see which one is equal to. Let's do the green. The green is going to be the RBS. That's the big one. Okay. So let's pick up this third one right here. Uh, that is going to be negative 6 and negative 4. All right. So our M here is going to be Let's keep this as my x1 and x2. I'll just make that my, or x1 and y1, I'll make this my x2 and y2 down here. So I've got a negative 4 minus, and then 6 is my y1. x is negative 6 minus, and then I've got a negative 11. All right, so theoretically, right, it's one line. So I could put these together, right, and I could say, I'm going to put this one first and then equals, and then I'll just transfer this up there, negative 4, negative 6, negative 6 minus negative 11. Do I have one that looks exactly like that? If I don't, maybe they flipped it, and that's fine, right? So we can simplify, okay? So that's going to be negative 4, that's going to be over 2, and then this is going to be negative 10, over and that's going to be 5, right? It just needs to equal negative 2. So if you don't find exactly what you're looking for, that's fine. Let's find the one that, that simplifies to negative 2, starting with a. That's going to end up being 10 over, let's see, that's going to be plus, that's going to be negative 5. Oh, that's looking good. 4 over negative 2. Hey, that's exactly what we did. They just flipped it. So that is going to be my answer, A.